Hi, we are the Travels of MM. I'm Megan. I'm Michelle. This is Briggs. This is Coco. And we are packing up and traveling the U.S. for a year in our RV. I'd like to start off saying that Megan and I wanted to renovate an RV and there was nothing wrong with this. The inside was very clean and livable. We just wanted to spruce it up a little bit. So as you can see, the inside is very blue, very wood, and very floral pattern. This really wasn't what we wanted to do with the space, so we decided to take out everything and start from scratch. So we officially had it for two days before we began renovations. Once we started, we realized how much potential it had and how much room there was. So we were very excited to see how this project was gonna turn out. After that, it was really just about taking things out piece by piece and deciding where we were gonna go from there. Thankfully, our dad was there to help with a lot of the bigger stuff and things we didn't know what to do with, so shout out to him for helping us. Definitely one of the most tedious things we had to deal with was ripping up the carpet, mainly because of how many staples there were in the floor. After multiple trips to Home Depot, we were able to get all of our supplies and continue the renovation. To strip the cabinets, we first tried using a paint and varnish remover, and this really didn't do anything, so we went straight to sanding all the cabinets. Anything that required painting, we put one coat of Kills Primer on it.
ended up using leftover cabinets from the kitchen dinette to make doors for where the old TV used to be. wanted to update the countertops and we decided to go with a marble contact paper option because this was the cheapest and also the easiest. We also put in a new faucet and used peel and stick tile for the backsplash. We noticed a large indentation where the original chair was that required leveling before the flooring could be put in. We then sanded and primed the rest of the flooring. The primer takes about an hour to an hour and a half to dry, but because this day was so humid, we had to turn on the hair dryer and the fan. This is a peel and stick vinyl flooring and you want to put a lot of weight on it after you install it. wired in all new LED lighting throughout as well as a new bathroom light fixture. Thanks to Dan and Lucinda, we were able to make a kitchen table and a sink cover. We had to get a custom TV stand that is bolted into the floor and we use these straps when we're driving or when it's shaking too much. Because we were unable to take out the front seats, we decided to put in a rubber mat instead of flooring. So we are bringing my Jeep Wrangler along with us on the trip. We are going to hook her up and pull her behind the motorhome. To tow the Jeep behind the motorhome, we had to get some equipment. Um, we got a tow bar thanks to Tim and Cinda. Shout out to you guys. I also stopped in and got a supplemental braking system as well as a universal wiring kit for trailer brakes and then uh, this model of Jeep needs a brake light switch so we got that as well. to our factory Jeep brake lights as well as our turn signals um, via these diodes. This wiring goes down underneath the Jeep all the way to the front where we can connect it to the motorhome. From there, the Jeep lights will work in tandem with the motorhome lights when we brake and when we turn. So the signal booster just came in today and this is gonna be the next thing we're gonna do. I think I have to mount it to the roof somewhere. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna put it yet. So we mounted our signal booster to our antenna so we can move this up and down and get some further signal. 
I'm just zip tying the cable here and we're gonna run it down. Thank <laughs> you.